everybody, uh, let's just take a look. We're going to do the quick tutorial for floorplanner.com. Today's lesson, you're going to be making your own bedroom. So you can either click on the link in Classroom or type in floorplanner.com. Once you're in, you can log in or create an account. Um, and once you're here, you can go ahead and click on there and you can even start making your own room. So go ahead and create. Well, here's the room I just made earlier for myself. Click create project. Let's give it a name. Be my bedroom. And hit start project. So we're just jumping straight in. What I'd like you to do is start with empty plan. So you have absolutely nothing here. Now I know that you don't know the size of your room, but you can actually just click draw room. My room at my house is a, a square. And I know that it's uh, 13 feet. So I'm gonna go ahead and re a 13 foot by 13 foot square so I'm gonna just relabel these just like Tinkercad uh, whoops that was 19 let's make that 13 enter there we go you can zoom in on it a little bit uh, there we go recenter it so over here on the left side are all your tools I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna grab a door uh, let's go ahead and turn this to 2d to start and then we can look at it in 3d later Keep it in 2D. I'm going to make mine black and white by clicking up here. This is the standard door. I'm going to pop that there. So it's already pre-measured, and I think that my door at home is uh, just a standard door. So I'm going to flip it because my door in my room enters in. All right, so I know that my door is there. I'm going to now also grab a window. So place windows. I'm going to take standard window, drag it there. My window is 6. I know mine is 66. All right, so you can double click to redo the size. So it's a pretty wide window. I'm gonna go drag it right there, a little bit more up. Now it's time to add my furniture here. So if you go over here on this side um, menu, you can click uh, add furniture, click on bedroom furniture, beds. Now I have a standard queen size bed, drag that in there. You can see that my room is quite small. The bed does take up most of it. Mine is not quite centered. It's more to the side there because if I go back here, my baby sleeps in my room. So kids and baby room, nursery, baby furniture. I'm going to throw this, this kind of square crib in there. Uh, double click to rotate it because he sleeps like this. Oops, let me put that back again, grab that out, double click, I'll just do it, try to do it 90 degree, there we go. So he actually has that up against the wall there. I also have two uh, nightstands, so let me go back to bedroom, what is it called here, bedside table, and then I'm going to go click on 3D just to see which ones, because I know it's that one, so I'm going to drag that one out there. My, yep, mine's 90 degrees like that. I'm going to actually duplicate that because my wife has one here on that side. Move the bed over a little bit. So there we have those two. Now let me go ahead and I'll add my drawers. Go back here, chest of drawers, 3D to see which one. We have the small one here, that one. 2D, drag that out. It's right there. And we have a chair. We go back here, so uh, maybe it is in bedrooms. Bedroom chairs. Let me look at 3D to see. Just like a normal chair, not a rocking chair. Like this one. Well, it's not upholstered. So you can go ahead and like try to find the right chair for your room. Let's see here. It's not a rocking chair either, so let's just grab this upholstered chair because that's pretty close. Grab that. It's actually more at an angle, so you can put it like there. And last but not least, I need to put my light bulbs. My, sorry, my lights. So go to uh, lighting. Actually, no, I think it's still in bedroom. There, nope. Let's just do lighting, indoor lighting. All right, perfect. Table lamp, put one there. Try to center it. I'm also going to duplicate that because we have matching ones on each. 
So that's pretty much it. There's my bedroom. So go ahead and do Windows Shift S to get your screenshot. Copy that whole thing. Paste that into your doc. And yeah, you're good to go. So I uh, hope you have success. Raise your hand if you have any questions I can help you out.